lines I think we have done it all She knows me in and out Love of a different kind But we still have no control Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and apologies for the massive delay in videos. It was not intentional at all. This year has just been so crazy busy and we had a really big launch um, a few weeks ago with our company which completely took over our lives pretty much and then in between that my mum moved out as well and I can't remember whether I fully explained this but she basically um, moved in with us before Christmas which we thought was just going to be a couple of weeks while she sorted her flat out and then it just kind of went on and on because of some issues and so she only moved out like I think it's maybe two weeks ago maybe 10 days um, and then in that time we've also been helping her fix up her place because the previous person didn't leave it in a very good state so it's just been really really full on um so yeah apologies but she is moved out now she's super happy with her new place and things are a little bit calmer on the work front so I'm really excited to get back to regular videos again. Um, I thought I would kind of kick things off again with a little update of our home projects. Um, so this vlog is going to be a little bit all over the place because I filmed things here and there, but there wasn't really much continuity. So some footage you'll see, it was when it was kind of snowing and like really just early January. Some things I filmed last month and then I've kind of done more recent updates as well. So it's a little bit of a mix of everything, um, but I didn't want the footage to go to waste. And I thought some of you might be interested. Really happy with how things are coming along, but it's definitely slow progress. Just trying to do projects as and when we have time and materials and things like that. But you'll see um, we have tackled a few rooms and made some dents in those. Um, so yeah. I will kind of cut away now as I mentioned a bit of a mismatch so you will see some older footage and then some new updates but hopefully you'll enjoy anyway okay so this is where we're at with the media unit I was not together enough to actually take some before video footage um, but I will insert some photos now But this is where we're at currently. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty much done. And um, they need to paint still and we are waiting the ladder and then we're waiting for it to be painted to put on the door handles. But we are absolutely thrilled with it. It's looking so, so great. And this is where we're at with it now. So it's still nowhere near done and I move things around pretty much every other day. Um, and we're still waiting on quite a few little bits and pieces and we need to get small books out and we still have an alarming number of boxes which we haven't touched which I don't really understand how because we've been here a while but time just seems to fly at the moment um, and we also have some things on order so we have a few photo frames um, and some more ornaments but things are just taking so long still um, but I am really happy with how it's coming together I think last time we didn't have a ladder either and that's arrived now too and yeah, we're just really, really thrilled with it. We were definitely nervous about this one just because it's such a big piece of furniture um, and we just felt like so much could go wrong, you know, um, but we now can imagine having the area without it. And this is the view a little bit further away. So it is quite a big unit. Um, I was getting some questions about why we had the ladder. So it's part decorative, you know, just because we thought it'd be a cool feature, um, but it's also practical as well because the unit is really tall. So I'm 5'7", and even with a chair, I can't reach the top shelves. So the ladder is definitely also there to help us reach the top. Otherwise, it would just be a no-go. Even Dan struggles with the top one um, and he's pretty tall, so kind of part decorative um, and part functional, but we love how it turned out. I do think that we need to touch up in areas. I don't know if the camera is gonna pick that up, but right at the top, there is a big crack there, which we kind of expected. And um, this is a new build and we're seeing cracks everywhere just as the house gets worn in and things kind of weigh it down. Um, so we do need to go over that and kind of fill it in and patch it up. But still, we are really, really happy with how it's turned out. Okay, so today we are tackling this other wall. Um, I did decide to go with built-in units after all, or built-in IKEA. Um, so that is what we slash 
Dan is doing today. I won't be doing the shelves, I think, but um, the main unit's pretty much him. But yeah, excited to see it come together. Okay, so we are making some progress. Um, Realise that I totally forgot to order wallpaper, which is absolutely my bad. So I'm gonna have to do that. Try to remember which wallpaper it is as well, which is easier said than done. Um, but we have two of the units up and Dan is working on the third. There are going to be three in the corner and then the customization begins. So as a little update, this is where we've gotten to. Can you see the snow on the window? It's like crazy outside. Um, but yes, yeah, so Dan has kind of finished putting up the shell units. Obviously, um, all the shelves are not in there, but we want to wait to do that until we get the wallpaper. So we have taken off the uh, skirting board right there. Um, I don't know, I think we're going to have to like fill some of it in, but we're obviously not going to paint it because we are planning on wallpapering. We want to wallpaper because that's what we've done with the other units, um, but I think we're just going to try and wallpaper the wall directly. So I think that should be arriving tomorrow, fingers crossed, and then we'll be able to get started with customizing the units. Dan has also gotten started with the dado rail, so we have the masking tape up on the wall and that's basically just kind of mark out where we want the panels to go, but it has already fixed in most of the dado rail, so it goes all the way around. Um, as you can see, we have kind of bits of masking tape everywhere just to mark things, but yeah, it is kind of getting started at least. I don't want to say getting there, um, but yeah, we, we have at least made a start. Okay, so this is the update for the year. Strips of wood are on and so we have to paint that wall. It hasn't been done yet because we just, we need the curtains to go up and we need to figure out what's happening with the radiator cover. So this wall is a TBC, um, but we thought we'd go ahead and just paint these walls first. So fast forward a few weeks and there has been a lot of progress on the room. Um, we're still not quite done yet because we need to wait for lockdown to end to get the last few little bits, um, but there has been a lot of progress. So the paneling has been painted and everything. Um, it isn't on this side of the wall yet because I need to wait for a radiator cover, which has not arrived because we're gonna be building the paneling around the radiator cover. So we have to wait for that, but it is on all of the other walls. I've kind of set up my little vanity area, which I did share on Instagram, which I'm so happy with. It's just like such a nice little corner and living in London, just like a desk or a vanity like this was really out of the question. Um, so this just feels like an absolute luxury Luxury. Um, and I just have like a little rug and some storage boxes over on the left there. And then spanning around, so the bag shelves are kind of completed, well-ish, I mean they're up and obviously populated with bags. I went for a kind of um, colour-coded arrangement, I really like the way it's turned out. First time I've ever done that and I'm actually very on board with the rainbow colours now. Um, there's one kind of little space there for a black bag and I've just popped my Prada one in there temporarily. But as you can see, we still do not have a door for the ensuite, and we've actually just been storing all the tools there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Um, Dan needs to finish up the paneling, as I just mentioned, and then also the customization. So there wasn't a whole ton of point in carrying them all downstairs. So we were just storing them in there temporarily, but I think the door is getting installed next month, which I am very, very excited about. And that is also when Dan is going to be finishing the customization, hopefully achieving that kind of built-in look. So we're not quite there, but um, we are kind of making slow but steady progress. These things just take so long generally, but especially during a lockdown, obviously. But I'm very excited to see the finished product. Okay, so I'm just in the process of clearing this shelving unit right here. Something very similar is going here in its place. Um, I just wanted something a little bit less wide because I don't have a ton of space. So clearing this out, moving it to the side, and then we are going to build the new one. Okay, shelving unit is clear. All of my stuff is on here. And we are gonna unbox and try and build. Okay, so this is the finished product. Um, the shelves have been put up. We need to sort out the wires down there, but Dan's got me an extension wire or something like that. Um, so we're just waiting on that. But 
shelves are up and I love the way they look. They're just a little bit smaller, so I do think they fit the space just a little bit better. So I am in the middle of unboxing all of our packages. Um, it's Mother's Day today, so we also have a lot of, excuse the shoes and the mess, a lot of boxes which held plants and flowers and things like that. Um, so going to have to do a lot of cutting up for recycling, but thought I would show you um, the paintings that I got. I've been waiting for these since January, so I'm so excited that they finally came through. Unbox one, and I'm gonna do the other one now. So this is them. I will do a better shot in a second, but how beautiful are these panels? I got a set of three and I am just so in love with them. So this is all three of them together and I am just so in love with how they turned out. They are so beautiful. Uh, these were a custom order. I got them from a store on Etsy. The owner is so lovely. She was so helpful. These are only custom though because I wanted a slightly smaller size, um, the kind of regular size. They, they were just too big for my space basically. So she was super lovely and said she could do them in a custom size, which is what this is. And I just think they look beautiful. So I'm gonna get Dan to put these up for me in a second and I will show you how they look. So I'm going to give you a little tour of the room that I'm in now, which you can't really tell where it is because it's just a blank wall. But this is the front living room and we've done a ton of work to it and I'm just so excited with how it's turning out. It's not quite finished, but we're almost there. We're only waiting on a few little bits and a few little changes. I don't think I have any footage of what the room looked like before, but I did take some photos. They are really cluttered because my mum's stuff was still here then. Um, but it'll give you an idea of kind of what we changed. So I will insert those now. As you can see, it was a uh, gray wallpaper and gray carpet. So we took off the wallpaper and painted everything white. We also switched out the carpet to white carpet and then we installed some paneling as well, which I really, really like. It's a little bit different to the paneling upstairs. Um, but I like how it's just a little bit more modern. And then obviously we kind of put in the furniture as well. So there is the shelving unit that you guys saw go in, the TV that does need to move and then the media unit as well. The weights are going to move as well. We are converting the garage into a gym, so that is going to all be moved and hopefully I'll have my new lamp sooner rather than later. And then from this view, I do have my little office area. There is still quite a bit more to do there, so I'm waiting on shutters, but they have such long lead time, so I think it's May I'm getting those, um, so a little while longer yet, um, but it is a functional space. Needs to tidy up the little wire area as well, um, and the lamp needs to be unwrapped, but we are slowly getting there. Just a little bit more of a closer view. So I have my cherry blossoms in the corner there, a photo frame, which does not have a photo in it yet. Um, and then I just have a kind of little um, pink, uh, just table pad, I guess. It just helps protect the table a little bit and then all my various kind of office bits and pieces. The printer is just hidden there because I don't have a good place for it. And to be honest, I thought it was a lot smaller than it actually was. So I have no idea where I'm putting the printer, but it's just staying there on the floor for the time being. And then kind of spanning around, then I do have my sofa area. And then this is the lounge area. So just have a, I think it's a two and a half seater, maybe three seater sofa. Um, and then this kind of ottoman, which also doubles as a coffee table. I wanted something that was kind of soft um, and light as well that I could move because I do work out here at the moment, um, but also that we could use as a footstool also. In case I haven't mentioned it, this room is essentially, well, it's obviously kind of where I work. So it is my office space, um, but it's also just a chill space that I can use, you know, when Dan's watching football or on calls in the other room, um, just so we're not on top of each other. and. It's just, I really like how serene it is and it's just like a very, very calming place to kind of work and relax. And I'm loving how these paintings look. I think they are just so beautiful. 
honestly the gaps in between them me and dan have struggled so much like we measure them and the measurements are exactly the same but i swear anytime i film them they look different and one side looks bigger than the other but anyway we're just gonna leave it there because we don't know how to fix it but i'm still so so happy with them it's just so unbelievably beautiful I also quickly wanted to mention um, some home favourites which I have just been loving so much. I only have a few here um, but these are just items which I've been so delighted with and I just think are fantastic. So first up are these cherry blossom branches which I love so much. Um, I will do a cutaway so you can see what they look like in my room but I just adore these. I think they are so stunning and these aren't too crazily priced either and generally speaking I do find that you get what you pay for when it comes to faux florals. You can get some not so great looking ones but I do think it's worth it to spend a little bit more especially because them being faux obviously they're going to be around for a long time so I I 100% believe in spending a bit more money on nice arrangements to get something that's just a little bit more realistic and kind of fuller looking. Um, but these ones I thought were fantastic value for money. I think I got four branches to achieve the look that I did. I think the whole amount came to like $112 or something like that. So not too crazy bad um, and I just think they're stunning. I love them so much that I got some for my mum as well for her new place. And then another floral favorite for me is this beautiful arrangement. So this is from Diane James, which is where I get a lot of my faux florals from. I think I have like nine or 10 of their arrangements now. They are absolutely stunning. I have all different ones for them from kind of single stems to full on arrangements like this. And they just never disappoint. They are more on the pricey side, but you know, fresh flowers aren't cheap either. And they do mount up over time. So I'm more than happy to invest in a beautiful faux arrangement like this that's just going to last me years and years. So I built up my collection gradually. Um, this one is a slightly new one and I'm so in love with it. This one has peonies and hydrangeas and roses and I just think it's so stunning. I actually just got my mum one of these two to decorate her new apartment with um, and I just think it is stunning. And then the newest addition to my Dan James collection is this beautiful floral arrangement full of peonies. It is just ridiculously beautiful. I think it could be the best one yet. It has blush peonies and then deeper pink peonies here with this beautiful vase. It's just so stunning. This one was kindly gifted to me from them, but want to be clear, I bought every single one of the other ones myself. I am just a diehard fan. This one is a collaboration, so this is part of the new uh, Grey Malin range with Diane James. So Grey Malin, I'm sure many of you will be familiar with him, um, but he is a photographer and he's teamed up with Diane James to do this beautiful collection of floral arrangements in these amazing vases. And they're just so many gorgeous ones and I obviously went for the peonies in these beautiful pink colours but they have a few different arrangements and they're just the same incredible Diane James quality and they just make any space just look a hundred times more beautiful and I am so in love with this one. And now for an Etsy find. I feel like I've been on a roll with Etsy finds. There's just so much good stuff out there. Um, but I saw these beads and these are entirely decorative. There is no useful purpose in them whatsoever, but I love them so much. They're very McGee & Co, I thought, but McGee & Co is great, but very, very pricey. Um, whereas these weren't too bad at all. Just wooden beads. I pop these on top of my tray on my coffee table ottoman. I think they look great and um, they are a kind of hail wooden bead but they are so pale that I feel like they'd go with most people's decor and I just think they're great so really really happy with this find. And then finally for my favourites I wanted to mention my um, mug right here so this is obviously a tea mug so it is completely glass and I will show what kind of footage I took earlier of the tea brewing process because it comes with two extra parts and basically it's instead of having a teapot you can just pop in the tea bag or the tea leaves right there and then you just close up if you want it to kind of brew quicker and it's just the most genius thing I do love my teas I'm a huge fan of mint tea in particular. I have both loose leaf teas and also kind of tea bags and you can use this with both types. It's really great and I just thought it was the most clever design and it's also beautiful quality as well. So just thought I'd mention this for any tea lovers out there. I love my coffee but tea is also so so essential to me and I thought this is just beautiful. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Apologies that it was like a bit of a mismatch as I said. Um, I think when I first started filming the little bits I was intending for it to cover 
maybe like two weeks um, and it's been like two and a half months so at least you got to see a slightly more dramatic kind of before and afters obviously still very much a work in progress um, but I feel like we made like a little bit of a dent in it at least. Hope you enjoyed it. I will try and link kind of obvious things I can think of in the description section. If you have any questions for me, um, then let me know and I'll try and get back to you or add the info to the description section. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.